What's up, wrestling card fans, trading card collectors? Welcome to another episode of Wrestling with Cards. Today we've got another mail day. Love these videos, showing you guys what I'm picking up, buying, selling, flipping, trading, all that fun stuff. Let's jump right into it. We've got a stack of Wrestling All Stars. If you look at the condition, these are not very good, but I think on average got these in a lot. I either got these in a lot or I bought them off several separate auctions. But I think I got most of these for under $3 a piece. So, no brainer for under $3. Look, I mean, they just keep going. Love Bill Dundee, by the way, side note. Sometime we're going to do a video on these, but that's down the road. I have a couple of full sets, actually. But I don't know when we'll get around to those. It's going to happen, though. Next up, we've got some LeBron Select. I really like these Select cards. Here you've got the green parallel, you've got an orange parallel, and you have a base. I love the look of these cards. This is his first year that he was in the Lakers uniform. The optic silver hollow that everybody keeps chasing from 2018-19 has got this same pose, and I don't understand why these haven't picked up yet. So I've been buying these up very, very cheap. You can't ever go wrong with LeBron cards. Next up, I've got a stack of Dante DeVincent... Ugh, I'm not even going to try to pronounce his name. But look at this. Really cool stuff. Kind of a print line on that one, if you can see right there. But I just got these in case the Bucks... Cool auto. I got this all in one lot. In case the Bucks make the finals and they win the finals, this guy's value hopefully will shoot up. I paid like maybe $30, $20, $30 for all these cards. So kind of, I'm not going to say penny stocks, but very low risk. And if, you know, if even if I can double my money, I'm happy. I usually look for a 20, 25% base return on all my investments. So if I can get that, I'm happy. Next up, we've got the 2002 Fleer Royal Rumble set. Oh, look at there, another Brock Lesnar card. Where have you seen that in my videos? Hint, hint. So we've got Batista, Randy Orton, and Brock. There's also the John Cena rookie card in this series. But these are all prime rookie cards for these guys. Happy to pick them up. Pick them up for under $10. So you've got superstar rookie cards for under $10. Compare that to baseball, football, basketball, hockey. You're really not finding that. Wrestling is so underpriced. So thank you again for joining me on this channel where you're going to learn more about wrestling cards and hopefully the popularity is going to pick up. Speaking of, if you like these videos, go down below, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon so you never miss any more videos. Keep rolling with the mail. We've got another Steven Montez auto, Leaf Metal rookie auto, number to 15, 15 out of 15. It's pretty sweet. Again, very, very minor investment on this. I don't remember how much I paid, but right around $10 probably. So the college autos, as many people know, still will sell. Not as popular once they get an NFL uniform. And if he takes off with the Redskins, if Dwayne Haskins doesn't work out, then this could be a nice flip. Next up, really cool wrestling card, Sting Hollow from Impel. That's pretty good conditioned one out of some of the ones that I've seen. Not numbered or anything. These were randomly inserted in cases, I believe. And again, one of the biggest wrestling stars in history, picking up the nice 90s hologram for next to nothing. Next up, we have a stack of 91 Fleer, I think this was Visions? I think that was the name of this set. But anyway, this just screams 90s. And yeah, some of these are off-center. I've actually sold some of these already, but I got more in. Love these cards. Can't go wrong with Michael Jordan, even if they're cheap and off-centered. Last but not least, I have a full set of Garbage Pail Kids WWE cards. If memory serves, there's only a little over 1,000, maybe 1,100 total of these sets printed. That's a very low print run. I will do a video on these at some point also, but I am probably going to be sending these in to get graded. With such a low print run, I think people are kind of sleeping on these, and they could kind of do like a cross crossover, kind of like the Topps Project 2020 is doing between art collectors and baseball card collectors. I think this could be a nice bridge between wrestling fans and the non-sports trading card collectors collecting Garbage Pail Kids, Star Wars, you know, superhero comics, stuff like that. This could be really cool because it's got Flair, it's got Andre, obviously, it's got 
Macho. It's got Warrior. It has some of the newer stars, I believe. Becky Lynch and Seth Rollins are in this. But it's the way that it's done, they've got that kind of comic book aesthetic. So this could really cross over and I think pick up in value, especially with a low print run. So that's it for today. Hope you enjoy the video. Like I said, go down below, hit subscribe, hit the bell icon. Check out all the links below to my social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok. I do a lot of card stuff on TikTok, so make sure to follow me on there. If you want to support the show, links down below to eBay, Mercari. Check out my cards. All those storefronts are there. Who knows? You could buy some of this stuff that's on the show. Show used. I like to continue to make that joke. Anyway, until next time, see you wrestling fans.